we call receiving the Eucharist Holy Communion. So ponder that word communion for a moment. When you think about life, don't we all long for communion? Think of the deepest, most satisfying, happy moments in your life. Were they not moments that you felt that you were in communion with God, with other people, with yourself, with the world? Everything was right. Relationships were right. So we long for a deep communion. We want more than just superficial relationships. We long for people in our lives that that we can love authentically and deeply and who in turn uh, deeply love us who know us through and through and and cherish us. So when we receive Holy Communion, the Lord is deepening that relationship that he longs for with us. He literally enters into us. So whenever I'm privileged to distribute Holy Communion, I think about the fact that from Jesus' side, he's traveled this infinite distance from heaven to descend upon our altar in this humble form of bread and wine, not to remain there, but to be brought down and handed to his people. Every person coming up for communion has traveled this distance from the moment of their conception to this moment to be in communion with the Lord. Here comes Jesus Christ, here come his people, and I'm privileged to stand in the middle and hand the head, Jesus Christ, over to his body, the church, feeding the body with the body of the head, if that makes sense. That Jesus feeds us and nourishes us and instills that deep communion within us.